Hello, everyone. I am the certified high foot surgeon, Wei Jun Chen. Today, I will demonstrate a high foot surgery with a case with recurrent multiple lyon myomas. It's my today's high foot demo show. Why I choose this case? This is a case with multiple lyon myomas as lyon myomatosis with recurrent history after laparoscopic myomectomy and the laparotomy myomectomy. Fertility conservation is still needed. The difficulty is on localization and the simulation of different fibroids. This is the brief history of the patient. She is 38 years old age. She had no childbirth or sexual exposure history. Twice myometomy but laparotomy in 2007 and laparoscopic myometomy in 2013 before. No remarkable family history. The chip complaints were hypermenorrhea with prolonged menstruation for 12 to 14 days. The pre hyphal ultrasound and hysteroscope showed multiple lyon myomas with lyon myomatosis and submucosal myomas. Pre hyphal NRI favor denied multiple myomas with 6.7 cm in mesma. The lab data showed CA125 as 173, LDH as 239, and hemoglobin as 8. This is her pre hyphal ultrasound. We can see multiple lyon myomas with sustained submucosal myomas. This is her pre hyphal hysteroscope. We can see there are multiple type 2 submucosal myomas as lyon myomatosis pattern inside in the natural cavity. From above information, we can understand the lady is not an easy case. Also, explain the difficulty. She would like to try high food since the recurrent lyon myomas was found after laparotomy and laparoscopic surgery. This is her pre hyphal NRI in sexual view. The left side is T2 weighted image and the right side is T1 contra enhanced image. This is her pre hyphal NRI in transverse view. Also, multiple myomas, but hyper intensity in NRI that predict fatal high foot abrasion response for this case. We further separate myomas in different areas. This is the left side uterine myomas. This is the middle area of uterine myomas. We can see the endometrium and the fibroids. This is the right side uterine myomas. We can also gather this fibroids and see this myomas as a single entity mass. This is the transverse view, the endometrium and the uterine myomas. From NRI, the patient has multiple myomas with maximum size as 6.7 cm left as a left uterine wall. This is the pre hyphal simulation. We use middle area as an example. We can see the posterior fibroids and the endometrium relationship. The local lo location is at the middle area of uterus, like the MRI image. Before hyphal treatment, we always make a project on the hand paper on left to right side uterus, we can classify the fibroids into four groups, and we consider treat number four and the number three as a posterior wall firstly, and then treat number one or number four as a left and the right side anterior wall later. Then we start the high foot treatment. Firstly, with simulation and 
localization every month. We check the pre hyper flow and put the abdominal balloon to adjust the focus depth. Then we start to treat the posterior mass at middle area. The number three mass is the NRI picture. We always choose the middle layer of the mass and concentrate the energy into the middle three layers. We always assess the focus depth to make our focus at deep layer with safety margin to extra uterine organ. Yeah. So we can see we always take rest of the abdomen to make the abdominal wall soak into the cold water every 100,000 occasions. Here we can see the grayscale change inside the mass can be gradually seen after the energy accumulation inside the fibroid. So the grayscale change, the cast grayscale change can be obviously seen. After treat the mass, then we treat another posterior mass at lower side as number two mass from the NRI image. So after localization, put the energy into middle three layer of the mass. Also, we can see the grayscale change was visible easily after the energy accumulation. Then we treat the anterior mass at the left side uterus as the number one mass from the NRI image. For huge size mass, we still always put the energy into middle three layers of the mass. After concentrate the energy into the middle three layers, we also put the energy gradually to left side and the right side, respectively. So after energy enough, we can also see the grayscale change can be also seen easily and obviously. Very beautiful grayscale change. Finally, we treat the right side myoma, the number four mass from NRI image. We make sure the enough energy to put into the mass. When we treat the mass, we always assess the safety margin carefully to prevent the intrauterine organ injury. And we can see the grayscale change can be seen after the enough energy put inside the uterine mass. So the grayscale change was seen. So after treatment, balloon takeoff and the DOPA was used to evaluate the intratumoral flow. Here in our hospital, still no contrast medium can be used. So we still need DOPA to make an evaluation. 
This is the post Hypodopla wrote from left to right side. So we can see there were no residual intertumoral growth with satisfied grayscale change inside. Then we can see the post HIFU NRI. First, we search the view. Then we can see the transverse view. Here is the post HIFU searched view NRI from left side and the mention at the mid area and the right side. Here it are the post HIFU transverse view. The non perfusion volume ratio was 97%. The immediate volume reduction rate is 27%. The post high for ultrasound was damaged here. The first month's ultrasound and the third month's ultrasound and the sixth month's ultrasound. This is the high full profile. The fornication time was 2033 seconds. The treatment duration was 250 minutes. The energy was 812,000 joules. The one month, three months, and the six months reduction rates were 23, 73, and 83% respectively. The patient had much improved menstruation symptoms and anemia status. The conclusion and take home message is simulation and the localization of multiple fibroids is very important to confirm and predict whether each tumor can be treated. Multiple fibroids are prone to recurrence and preoperative evaluation and communication with patients are very important. In addition to experience, patience is also very important in the treatment process. It is also important to combine different drug treatments according to the situation after surgery. Thanks for your attention. Here is my email. If any question, welcome to email me.